For the best liberty-oriented talk 24-7, visit lrn.fm. Governor, what would be your reaction uh, if New Hampshire were to secede from the Union? Uh, uh, we in Virginia have learned that lesson a long time ago. I don't think that's a very good idea. The lesson being might makes right? Uh, no, a lesson being that uh, the United States is sovereign and a great country and that we're all part of it. Why can't New Hampshire be sovereign? Uh, the United, New Hampshire should is better off as part of the entire Union of the United States and as a Virginian I know that lesson. I really appreciate you answering the question. Okay. What do you think ought to be done with those militias out in Oregon? Uh, I think maybe I've got to go give a speech. No, all right, take care. Uh, we can have a Oh, you probably can't hear, but they're singing the uh, national anthem up there. I need to come up with some uh, new lyrics for that thing, too. Arnie Arneson, a commentator, political commentator in New Hampshire, has this uh, philosophy that this room, uh, the, the, the press room in uh, Concord at the State House, used to be filled with people whenever the House was in session, and now it's very rare to see more than uh, three reporters in there. I, I don't remember ever seeing more than one. If you don't have enough mainstream reporters doing their job, you get stuck with me. I also like Mark Edge's idea that um, state and local politics are almost completely underserved by the uh, uh, mainstream press. That's another reason they're stuck with us. I was about to get some photographs of state reps leaving their natural environment, but I think instead I'm, I'm almost filming the Free Stater delegation. Oh, no. Don't say that. Uh, almost. <laughs> uh, not really. I'm supposed to know. <laughs> What's this? Hey, guys. Hey, over here. Now, some of those folks may not have been free staters, I don't know. I mean, because I thought. Oh, you look lonely out here. Oh, Alderman Long, how are you doing? You're good, you look lonely out here. I should say Representative Long today. Oh, that's good. Hey, I actually have a question for you. You're on child and family law, correct? I am. Uh, you know, Tom Ball burned himself alive, partly to protest what... Was that Tom? The, the guy in Keene that burned himself alive? Yeah. To pro yeah. He was protesting the child and family law system, okay. essentially. Okay. What, if anything, have you done to make it a little bit... To make the, to make the system a little bit less punitive on people? I, I mean, they drove a guy... The system they, is punitive they, because a gentleman decided to uh, burn himself? He said they drove him to it. Now, I'm taking him at his word. Maybe I shouldn't. I don't know if that could be verified. That 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 he was driven to that by that. I mean, what did it may he... have been. I think there may have been some deeper, uh, some deeper issues that he was probably dealing with. But but you're not familiar with the case specifically. I'm not familiar with the case. Okay, so I mean, I, I'm not you know intimately familiar with it. But obviously it was you know it was in the news and we you know a lot of people heard about it. Well, that, that's you know that's not a qualifier. Yeah. That was in the news. Anyway, have you done anything to uh, make it so that people who have not committed major crimes are not punished for the rest of their life for minor crimes? Like in this case, he was punished for if he he was accused of assaulting his kid, you know, and it was serious. Uh, I mean, it was a serious accusation. The assault wasn't very serious, from what well, I understand. We, we deal but, with specific things with kids, like you said. But you know, if, 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 I mean, if he he went through criminal prosecution. I think it was more like child, it was like, I don't understand how, the, that's the whole problem with the child and family system is it's, it's sort of almost outside the criminal system. Do you make, does it make sense? It, it, well, no, it, yeah, it's, it's not normal it, prosecution. It's yeah. yeah. Yeah, correct. Uh, and it, it was this convoluted sort of thing. Allegedly, he, he hit his daughter, allegedly. I mean, not enough to cause any kind of major damage, but it was a big, it's a big deal to hit your daughter. You shouldn't do it, right? Yeah, I agree. Um, but, you know, I guess for another team. That, that was 10 years before he killed himself, roughly. He was yeah. he was in the bureaucracy for another 10 years after that, and um, he was separated from his kids. And I guess at the end, what was getting him was the fact that he was he was going to go to jail over a child support payment that he couldn't make. Do you guys deal with child support issues? We do. Is the system punitive? Too punitive? Uh, I I don't think so. I you know I think people are responsible for their children. And they should be held liable to. <laughs> help support the child. So, you know, I don't know the particulars of his case, I, you know, so I can't comment on 
It does seem like there's, we went yeah, it seems there's a little bit of a disconnect from something really huge happening in your committee. It that way yeah. to you, but not knowing, not knowing the details. I can't. Well, I can't, well, I can't make you read the not. Sentinel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, but I can't. I can say that I appreciate your transparency. You okay. usually have quite a bit. Thanks. All right, take care. LRN.FM, 24 hours of Liberty Radio every day. Now available on satellite too, at sat.lrn.fm. That's what a satellite sounds like. Put it on your unlicensed station. Wear it in your hair. But above all, don't despair. The Liberty message is getting out. And right now, you're missing it. Or maybe you're not. But skip on over to lrn.fm. Feds don't want you to hear them.